Welcome back everyone, nice to meet you if you're new here, my name is Ella and in today's video I'm finally filming <laughs> um, Mabon, the autumn festival that is approaching and yeah, here it is. I'm also going to show you my altar and how I decorate for Mabon and what you can also do for yourself. Mabon is usually celebrated on or between the 21st of September till 24th of September or if you're in the southern hemisphere, the 21st of March until approximately 24th of March. So Mabon is also known as the Autumn Equinox and it is the second harvest festival of the year, the first one being Luminasat. So it's becoming darker and darker now and slowly but surely we're falling into the winter phase. Mabon celebrates harvest, it celebrates abundance and it celebrates thanks and family. So it's somewhat similar to Thanksgiving, I suppose. So Mabon, of course, the colors are very obvious, very clear, I think. It's um, burnt orange, brown, natural shades, um, very natural kind of colors. Some gemstones for this season, for this holiday, are citrine, peridot, bloodstone. I also really like to work with quartz, but I like to work with quartz all year round. <laughs> Some deities that you would like to work with are Freya, Demeter, Bridget, for example, and the element is earth. Some of the activities that you can do on Mabon are, for example, apple picking. Of course, decorating your altar. That's something I always personally do. You can go pick up leaves and use those to decorate your altar. I also um, collected uh, chestnuts. That's the name. Um, we were looking for chestnuts the other day and I used those as an altar decor piece. Little pumpkins I like to add to my altar as well. I also like to start baking a lot in the season so I like to make apple pie from the apples that you picked previously. Um, I also started making pumpkin bread at this time already. Um, pumpkin soup or potato soup. Anything that is in season right now really works well. You could also for example bake and use that as a way to celebrate this day. That is also something that is easier to hide once again if you're more of a closeted witch or Wiccan and you I think a common thing that you might have already heard about is drawing sigils into for example the tin before you're baking it or into the loaf itself or cake whatever you're baking cookies muffins whatever as it is a time of thanks it is also a time of giving back so what you can also do is for example donate some of your old summer clothing for the people that might need them more than you do or if you would like to help some animals out you can create little bird feeding spheres, balls, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, go bird feeding for example, right? And of course general decorations and also you can what you can also do to get more into that mood and to celebrate it in a more hidden way for example could be to wear colors that correspond with Mayabon. So I like to wear black, I mean I like to wear black all the time, but <laughs> you can wear more black, um, you can wear for example this burnt color these burnt colors, orange brown, um, mauvey shades as well, um, burgundy would also really look lovely. So on the map on day you could make a ritual. I like to start my rituals out always with a bath or a shower to cleanse myself and I then like to meditate with for example one of these crystals that I mentioned earlier, citrine for example, right? Or quartz if you don't have any of these other crystals on hand. I do have a crystal shop by the way, you can check that out little self-promo um, <laughs> but yeah you can do that and then you could you could cast a full-on circle and create a nice big elaborate ritual I have a video on how to make spells yourself I'll link the video below and then you could for example invite these deities in that I also mentioned earlier Bridget Freya whoever you like into your circle work with them you could also do a Mavon tarot spread you can find spreads either online, I actually like Pinterest a lot um, for tarot spread ideas or create your own. You can of course also create a feast so that it's very similar to Thanksgiving actually. So you would celebrate with your friends, your family, whoever, your coven even if you have a coven and yes celebrate this holiday with the foods that are currently available, the bread or cookies that you just made 
and have that. So that already is actually it. And I'm going to show you my personal altar, how I chose to decorate it for Mabon. And this is my altar. As you can see, I have a couple of pumpkins on my altar, which are decorative pumpkins. I have my offering, which you can see here as well, which are just a couple of hand-picked uh, Latvian apples, which are just in a nice cute little bowl. And I also have a couple of candles, which are from a local candle shop. Uh, she makes all her candles herself. You can also see I have some of the hazelnuts sitting around. And of course, my altar is not complete without my crystals. I also have some extra storage room. And that's where I keep anything that just doesn't fit on my altar currently. Or that I might need during spell work or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Or you can also message me on Instagram. And... Yes, I hope this video was helpful for you. Blessed be, blessed Mabon to you. And of course, see you next time. If you would like to support me and my channel, I, as I mentioned earlier, have a crystal shop. Um, I will leave the link below. If you would like to check out, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you. And until next time.